Jared, I said I wanted to crush dice, not screaming we're live. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha! Listeners, crush heads, stop me if you heard this one before. Spider-Man just chased a bunch of thugs through the streets, putting citizens in danger, and leaving millions of property damage in his way. This time, he had a little help from a certain silver-haired vigilante who turned the financial district into her own personal shooting gallery with a flying death machine! But that's not the worst of it, folks. Oh, no. What could be worse, you ask? The traffic! The gridlock! It was so bad that yours truly missed a very important dental appointment! Now I have to wait six months for the next opening! How many other people missed dental appointments because of this? Dozens? Hundreds? Thousands? Which, of course, leads us to the obvious conclusion. Spider-Man causes tooth decay! Hey, don't leave! I just got here! She find these guys. I was gonna suggest the dance off, but this is way more fun. Stay tuned, everyone. We've got a photo bomb coming up. Oh, yeah. Get it off. Oh, where does she find these guys? Huh. I was gonna suggest a dance off, but this is way more fun! The comments are blowing up! We want more photo bombs! Don't you. Let like you out! Wow, what a great shot! She ain't so tough! <laughs>
Not gonna lie, feeling pretty good about myself right now. Yes! My subscriber count has never been higher! <gasps> we did it! 50 million followers! Oh, the party starts now! See y'all there! Sorry, Webhead, you're not invited. Subscribers only, but I still love you. Screwball. It's the ultimate narcissist. There's no way she'd miss her own party. Gotta find out where it is. Maybe one of her fans posted something about it. If only I knew someone who had time to scour a bunch of social media posts. Hello? Hey, hey Pete. Just checking in. Miles! Are you? Did you just hear what I said? You said hello. Huh. Guess your timing is just weirdly perfect. Anyway, I got a mission for you. Like a spider mission? Oh, man. Let's do this! I need you to look through social media and find the location of Screwball's 50 millionth follower party. Oh. Okay. Sure. I'll call you as soon as I find something. While I wait for Miles, I can do some Spidey patrolling. The entrance to his hideout must be somewhere close by. Huh, must be underground. Guess it's time for some urban spot. Hi, David. I think I found the last hideout. Great work. So, I was thinking, maybe we should store the caches at a local police precinct, just for safekeeping. I would prefer to safeguard them myself. I get the sense you're not telling me something. <sighs> I had a work visa with Sable International. It became invalid when I quit. Even an ID check right now could mean immediate deportation. I merely wish to finish this one task and then I will go. Maybe I could help you with the whole immigration thing. Do not worry for me. This was my choice, and I have no regrets. No, I don't think so. Boss is looking for her, though, I'll tell you that. You know, my brother was there when she took the shot. Hey! Oh, yeah. I know, I should have called first. Yeah, but our lawyers will get him out. Not for cheap, though. Better start safe. Favor. Sure, what's up? Remember that story you did on the shortage of teachers in the city? Well, I know someone who might be a good fit. If he had a visa. I think some of the supers are offering H1Bs based on credentials. Send me a info and I'll call around. How'd Spider-Man find us? 
I just had to follow the stench. I thought the street above us smelled bad. Woo! What the? Crap! I'm gonna tear you apart! for every time I heard that. Wait, do they even make nickels anymore? Uh, as soon as I finish here, I'm gonna look that up. And we're done. It's Spider-Man! You remembered my name. I'm so honored I'll punch you less hard than all the other guys. came out at once, you'd have a better chance of... Wait, better not give him any ideas.
like I cleared the place out. Whew. Now to find the supply cache for David. Okay, those humanitarian supplies should be around here somewhere. This must be the cache of humanitarian aid. Say good night. Take him out. David, the final supply caches are secure. Thank you. I will take them all to the Simkarian Embassy and make sure the aid is delivered. Let me know if there is anything else I can do to help. I will. And thank you once more, Spider-Man. Guess that's it. Hope MJ can pull some strings for him. Miles, what do you got? Check it out. Miles, that's great. Thanks so much. You want me to meet you there? Uh, just in case you need some backup? No, but don't worry. We'll get you out in the field soon enough. Cool. Okay. I can't wait. Like, literally, waiting is really hard. <laughs> I know, Miles, I know. Talk soon. Okay, rooftop party near Church and Broom. I think the saddest thing about Screwball is that, in a way, she's a victim of her own fans. Most criminals have an end goal, but I don't think Screwball does. She's just a social media addict. As long as her fans keep giving her validation, she's going to keep doing more and more dangerous stunts, which is why I need to stop her. Tonight. Hey, David. What's up? Spider-Man, I have the supply caches and I'm on my way to the embassy. But I think I am being followed. Where are you? I am not sure. I am... David! David! Hold on! I'm on my way! Hammerhead's men knew David would be alone and vulnerable. I should have seen this coming. Hang in there, David. Everybody, out! That's not good!
condition under that stupid suit or something? I'll freeze you, ah. little man! Hey, David, what's up? Spider-Man, I have the supply caches and I'm on my way to the embassy, but I think I am being followed. Where are you? I am not sure. I am... David! David! Hold on! I'm on my way! Hammerhead's men knew David would be alone and vulnerable. I should have seen this coming. Hang in there, David. Flying in about an incident in Midtown. There's David. He's in trouble. Gotta move. Hi, David. You look like you could use a little help. David, stay where you are. I got this. You okay? I think so. Thank God for this sable armor. So, what's next? Deliver the caches to the Simkarian embassy. Thanks to you, the Simkarians will finally get the aid they need. Just happy I could help. <laughs> but I meant what's next for you? Well, a few minutes ago I received a call from a school in Midtown. They offered me a visa if I accepted a teaching position. I don't suppose you had something to do with that. Good things happen to good people. I can't thank you enough. I will try every day to help my students achieve their dreams as you have helped me achieve mine. 
Actually, I should be the one thanking you. For what? For reminding me why I'll always love this city. Ah, is it me? Or is the world a little brighter right now? I'm just gonna bask in this good feeling for at least the next few seconds. Or until something else bad happens. I bet David's gonna be one of those cool teachers whose classes are packed. This is it, folks. This is the big one. <laughs> I finally have proof. For years, I have asked my dear listeners to send in photographic evidence to prove. Once and for all, that Spider-Man is directly linked to the very criminals who plague our city. Finally, finally, one brave anonymous caller has delivered the goods. We have clear photos of Spider-Man standing in the immediate vicinity of caches of humanitarian aid. Aid that was intended for Simkari. And our heroic caller assures me that these very humanitarian caches are being sold on the black market. If I've learned one thing in my years as a world-renowned reporter, it's this. Photos don't lie. Spider-Man has been caught red-handed. No pun intended, puns are for whips. So what do we do about it, you ask? We wait. We wait for the police to finally wake up and arrest this mass lunatic. At long last, this city is going to finally see that Jameson has been right about Spider-Man this entire time. Not only is he a thief, he's actually stealing vital food and medicine from innocent civilians who are trapped in a war zone. Women and children struggling to survive, hiding each day from a hail of mortars and bullets. Meanwhile, Spider-Man is stealing the very aid that might keep them alive. This is a new low, people. Even I could never have suspected Spider-Man of something this despicable. All we can do now as a city is to sit back and quietly reflect on just how right J. Jonah Jameson really was. Yet again. The entrance to his hideout must be somewhere close by. Huh, must be underground. Guess it's time for some urban spelunking. Ugh, that's a new smell. Yuck. 
Hope I find Sable before the fumes overwhelm her. If I can get through this without getting wet, that'd be a win. Hello! This is so cool. Hey! Whoa, look at this place. The amount of work it takes to make this city run is just crazy. I'll never take fresh water for granted again. Where this leads. Looks like some loose bricks up ahead. Nice. Okay, onward. Hammerheads, guys. They've taken over an abandoned subway platform. Gotta take these guys out, then look around for Sable. Here work. I'm just not sure how many more of these things we can send out. Hey, you wanna know what I've been thinking? Not really. I was thinking, we need an insurance policy. Oh what? So boss says we can do this sable business. We all get a cut of the profits. Maybe, but <laughs> What do you mean? He said he would. Boss is good on his word. Yeah, but... The hell is that? Whoops! That would make a terrible ninja. Okay, that's all of them. Now, I bet if I follow the power cables, I'll find where they're holding Sable. Hope that's not a load-bearing subway car. Wires lead into that tunnel, but that train is blocking it. Nice. Okay, follow the yellow wire. Better not find any line. Ah, tunnel's blocked, but I think I can still squeeze through. Ugh. 
Body bags? Well, this just took a turn. What do you mean, what happened? He died inside the thing, like the other guy. Who was it? Don't remember his name. Sal's cousin, I think. Was it messy? Nah, he just came out all blue. I think he stopped breathing in there or something. Hey, Jacob, Ross, you earned it. Hearing, I think so. Then forget I said it. And I'll forget you were drinking on the job yesterday. What do you mean? That, that, that was coffee. Sure didn't smell like coffee. Gotta do this quick, and then find Sable. What was this? We're getting very sleepy. Something's over. This place looks like their main base of operations. Sable jetpacks. I'd pay good money to see Hammerhead's guys learning to fly in these things for the first time. Project Olympus. These pods require a lot of electric. I told you, I just helped manufacture these things. I didn't design them. Guess we got the wrong guy then. On the bright side, now we got our first test subject. No! No! Turn it on! Please! Just give me a few minutes. I, I can figure it out. Now that's what I like to hear. All this stuff belongs to Sable. Yeah, most of it's overseas, though. What are you thinking, boss? I'm thinking about how she took over the whole city in a matter of days. You mean back during that Devil's Breath thing? Yeah, that was crazy. Not so crazy when you got the right equipment. Well, we got those digging things. Not good enough. If we want the best stuff, we're gonna need her. Yeah, okay. How are we gonna do that? Just keep taking her stuff. She'll come to us. That cop almost killed me. I thought you said I'd be indestructible. I said almost indestructible. After all, you're still human. Then make me less human. I... I'm not sure what you mean. I mean what I said. Now get to work. XRT-89, Subterranean Troop Deployment Vehicle. That's the real name? <laughs> I'm sticking with Dig Boy. Wow, if Hammerhead gets his hands on this thing, we're in serious trouble. Sable, sounds like she's close. There! The only way out is through. High voltage wires and sewer water. What could possibly go wrong? If there's one takeaway from this underground lair thing, it's that Hammerhead should have fewer thugs with guns and a lot more safety inspectors. She's close. There. The only way out is through. High voltage wires and sewer water. What could possibly go wrong? 
If there's one takeaway from this underground lair thing, it's that Hammerhead should have fewer thugs with guns and a lot more safety inspectors. back for me. Why? Because I need you. No. I work alone. I used to say the same thing. I know what's happening in Simkaria. I know why this means so much to you. I think you know, but you do not know. What can I do to make you trust me? Look, I think I know how we can take down that monster, but I can't do it alone. Diamond, he let him loose! Okay, here's the plan. Good plan. No 
No lethal force, okay? Okay? Bitch, I can't get you up there! Banter, though. You said you could defeat Hammerhead. You, uh, know you left me hanging, right? There are medical records in here. Yeah, mostly about that metal plate in his head. Carbon steel. Super strong, pretty sensitive to... Heat. I have an idea. 
I uh, solemnly swear to uh, do whatever you tell me to. I will call soon. Ow. But yeah. Guess I'll do some spidey work while I wait for Sable's call. Hey, what's that? What's with all the yellow stuff? Huh. Is this some weird street artist thing? A police report. Looks like someone was killed during a mugging, but nothing was stolen. Hmm. What's with the audio recorder? So, you have some work-related stress. Well, you came to the right place. That's my specialty. So they tell me. Give me some more specifics about how you're feeling. Guess you could say I put a lot of pressure on myself. I like to be the best. Plus, I have a very demanding boss. Then what kind of work do you do? Everything here stays confidential, right? Of course. Good. Because if any of this gets out, you're a dead man. The case file says one of nine. There must be more of these out in the city. There's a bunch of GPS coordinates here. I love treasure hunts, but something tells me I'm not gonna find a chest full of gold at any of these places. <laughs> 